Several massive blasts have ripped through Damascus, one of them reportedly targeting the hotel where the UN chemical experts are staying. Artie's Paula Sleer is near the explosion spot and uh, she joins me live now. So, Paula, tell us more. What do you know and what have you seen since you're actually there in Damascus? Well, within the last 20 minutes, there were two massive explosions here in downtown Damascus. They seem to have happened in Umayyad Square, which is about 200 meters from where I'm talking to you from. From the initial reports that we're receiving, it seems as if one was right in front of the Syrian TV. And we are seeing some footage being circulated online by rebels saying that their target is the Syrian TV. The other location of the square is not so far from the Four Seasons Hotel. Now, this is where your foreign inspectors who've been in the country for some two weeks investigating Syria's chemical weapons stockpile are staying. Just this morning, there were warnings posted by armed rebels warning civilians to stay away from military checkpoints. And I mention this because this square, which is very close to where we're staying, is something that we drive past several times a day. In fact, we drove past about an hour ago and there are several checkpoints there indeed it's very difficult entering and leaving the square with the military constantly checking papers and making sure who's entering and who's leaving as you can well imagine the information at this stage is a very preliminary in the last 20 minutes we've heard a number of ambulances hurrying past we're also hearing reports that there are civilian casualties just in the last minute I was told that there is at least one person dead we do expect that count to climb because these blasts were massive and as I'm talking to you we can actually still smell the aftermath of the explosions. They happened as I say some 200 meters from here and, and as I'm speaking to you now I'm also hearing further gunfire just a short distance from here. There have been numerous targets and concerns that the Syrian TV will be, will be attacked. We are working on a story where we've been talking to people inside Syrian TV and many of them have expressed the same concern and that is that the Syrian TV is a target from armed groups because they criticize it for promoting, in their words, propaganda. We are hearing that the Syrian TV building was slightly damaged. We do know that one of the TV stations that broadcasts from within that building, the Al Ahbari station, has gone off air and hasn't resumed broadcasting. And as I say, we're continuing to receive updates. The situation certainly very tense and at the moment a little bit confused here in the Syrian capital. Paula, thanks very much indeed for that live update. Artis Paula Slear there in Damascus.